F1 is back this weekend. So are the rumors and major car upgrades with it. From asymmetric braking used by Red Bull, to Daniel Ricciardo's sacking, to Ferrari bringing the biggest upgrades in Austin. As always like the video and subscribe to the channel. Speculation in F1 got intense during the summer break in the wake of a change the FIA made to the technical regulations outlawing asymmetrical braking systems. There were even wild accusations thrown at Red Bull that its drop of form since the Miami Grand Prix was linked to a potential banning of a system it may have been using, with some even suggesting that Max Verstappen's retirement from the Australian Grand Prix could have been linked to this. The new regulations by FIA prohibits what would more commonly be referred to as a brake steer system, whereby one wheel, usually the inside wheel, is braked with more bias than the outside in order to help balance and steer the car. Brake steer devices are not a new thing in F1. Famously, McLaren had such a system on their cars in 1997-98, known as a fiddle brake, which employed an additional brake pedal in the cockpit to apply braking force to just one side of the car to be able to produce asymmetric braking torques. Brake steer systems significantly improve corner entry and exit speeds if used on the car. Max Verstappen himself has been struggling with just turning the RB20 in long corners in Hungary and Monza. Car balance has also fallen off the cliff, but Red Bull has brought major upgrades to Austin. According to Helmut Marco, if the upgrades work, Max will hold off Lando Norris with ease to the championship title, and Red Bull will also fight for the constructors' title. Adrian Newey has come out to say, Red Bull was eager to show the world that it can continue winning without his services. Red Bull boss Christian Horner downplayed how much input Newey had on the 2023 car, expressing that it would be wrong to pull out any single individual. Perhaps that was one of the reasons he left the toxic working environment Newey talked about in Red Bull. Ricardo was unceremoniously sacked by Red Bull following an emotional farewell race at the Singapore Grand Prix. Red Bull made it seem that a decision was taken after the Singapore Grand Prix, but according to the driver taking his seat, Liam Lawson, the decision was made a couple of weeks before the Singapore GP. Liam Lawson recently spoke about the awkwardness of being told he was replacing Ricardo a couple of weeks before the Aussie was informed he was out of a seat. The 35-year-old, who achieved eight wins, three pole positions, 17 fastest laps and 32 podiums during his career, is unlikely to return to the F1 grid, according to widespread reports. But the Australian has been offered an ambassadorial role with Red Bull, according to Christian Horner. The race at the Circuit of the Americas is largely seen as the last major opportunity to unleash a batch of car upgrades this season. Austin is the start of a triple header that includes Mexico and Brazil, making it logistically the easiest place to introduce new parts. Ferrari, Mercedes and Red Bull teams have had upgrades in the production pipeline over the last month and now emerge in Austin as they make one final push to improve their fortunes. Austin is a sprint weekend, giving teams less practice time to dial updates in, but they have become accustomed to the format so their reluctance to bring upgrades to a sprint event is not as big as it used to be. Austin will therefore offer a clearer picture of what the form table might look like until the end of the year, with only November's race on the Las Vegas Strip, the odd one out, that's closer to Baku in nature. While all attention has gone to McLaren's battle against Red Bull, Ferrari may yet be in the fight, following just 34 points behind Red Bull in third. But the Scuderia is perhaps the team with the biggest question marks to answer this weekend, as it has struggled with high-speed bouncing on the most demanding circuits since the summer. Mercedes, they themselves have admitted that the car is not good enough to fight for race wins, following their terrible performances in recent outings. Personally, I don't think Mercedes are improving their car, more than where it is right now, all their upgrades perform like downgrades which is unbelievable. Lewis Hamilton joining Ferrari now looks like a very clever move. Mercedes is now a midfield team like it or not, till 2026. There is no way they fix what they failed to solve in the last three years in just a month or one year. Thank you for watching. Please kindly subscribe to the channel and don't miss another giveaway.